Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, yesterday I was off. I decided not to work because they've been working the shit out of me. It's the summertime. Like I told you, I work in the food industry. So now that everything is back to normal, lots of orders, shorthanded. We hired a dude. That dude worked for about an hour and he walked out of there. So that was funny, but uh, nevertheless, um, I decided to take my day off, which is Tuesday. Look like we finna go back to five days a week instead of four tens. So, you know, it's what it is. All right. So, with that being said, okay, I had a chance to go check out the sequel to. Meet the Blacks, the 2016 film starring Mike Epps, Little Duval, and a couple of other people. You know, Gary Owen is in the movie as well. Snoop Dogg has a cameo appearance. And Michael Blackston. Um, well, basically, the movie takes on... Now, keep in mind, the first movie had like a purge element to it. Now, this one has like a slash Fright Night vampire and Brooklyn theme to it and Cat Williams plays the head vampire now at the end of the day you know Mike Epps you know some people have criticized Mike Epps over his role selection some of the things because you know he's been getting uh, criticized for his role in the TV series I think it's called The Upshaws you know I haven't seen that that excuse me that TV show, so I wouldn't know. But I know a lot of people have been ripping in to the show, so I haven't seen it. But you know, with Mike Epps, he d does what he does best. You know, comes with one-liners, and um, you know he Mike Epps he does a lot of improv, which means he freestyles a lot of his lines in the movie, and you can tell certain scenes. He, he, you know, improv you know, he made up lines on the fly, which is cool. That could work at times. So, basically, um, you know, he wrote a book based off what happened in the first movie. And, basically, um, he made the money and he blew the money. So, basically, he ended up moving back, I think, to the ATL. And, um, basically... The neighborhood where he lives in basically a strange person moves in and he moves in at 12 o'clock at night so people found that strange so basically it turns out that the guy is a vampire played by Cat Williams and by the way Cat Williams does a great job playing a, a, a vampire and you know the lines are funny for the most part and it has a lot of cameo appearances from, you know, uh, just a lot of people, you know, and Danny Trio is in it, AKA Machete. Uh, Tyra Turner is in it, AKA Kane from Minutes to Society. It's good to see him back acting, man, because, you know, he was in and out of films on hiatus. Every once in a while he'll pop up, but he hasn't worked steadily since minute to society but you know i seen him in the movie with hillary swank and michael elay uh female female fatale solid movie you know so you know he's back to acting um the movie already lets you know towards the end that there's gonna be a third one on the way so you know um at the end of the day i enjoyed it for what it's worth you know some people ain't into that kind of comedy you know and some people are now it isn't is you know runchy and kind of lightweight disgusting like some of the stuff uh the Wayne brothers are known for doing but you know it, it it is what it is um you know like i said it's 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 enjoyable um i recommend it you know i recommend it on a scale of one to ten, I give it, I give it a seven. 
uh, short film. Movie only has a running time, I think, of uh, an hour and 30, 35 minutes. So it goes by pretty quick. So I think you guys will enjoy it, you know, if you went to that kind of comedy, if you don't take it seriously. But, you know, I wish they would make more uh, black versus black vampire movies. I think it's a market for that, and I think we should try that more often. And in the movie, they touch on certain certain elements surrounding, you know, uh, vampires and, you know, uh, a little bit of African diaspora stuff. So uh, it's cool. You know, it's cool. But anyway, it's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.